A fresh face has landed at KSL News, and we always like to have the chance, take the chance to go girlfriend to girlfriend and get to know these newbies a little bit better. She delivers impactful stories, but isn't afraid to have some fun on the air as well. Brianna Chavez is joining me, a recent addition to our KSL News team. We are excited to introduce you to her. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having I me. I hear everybody's asking you, Brianna or Brianna? I say Brianna. Brianna. Yes, but I really genuinely do not mind. I've <laughs> heard stories about people getting upset when their name is not said correctly, but yeah. It's it's all good. And Oops. I told Brianna that I know this this table has a claim to it. It has a resonance. I told her that's a very gracious answer. But here in Utah, you've got to teach us how to say yes, things sometimes. That's so true. We'll, I'm learning that too. We'll yeah. go with Brianna, and we got the black dress yes. memo. So we're already in sync. <laughs> not planned. Not planned. Tell us about you. I understand you were working at your hometown station before yeah. coming to us in Salt Lake. Yeah. So I'm um, born and raised in El Paso, Texas. And I stayed there, went to college there, and I was an angsty teen about it. I wanted to leave home. Uh, I didn't really want to stay there for college, but it was totally a blessing in disguise. Had I not stayed, I wouldn't have gotten hired uh, at my last station. So yeah, I, I got hired there my senior year. Um, I was at KVIA, the ABC affiliate out there, and I, I was there for five years. And it was a little tough leaving home, not gonna lie, but I, I think um, so far, KSL's been great and it's been a blessing uh, to be out here in Utah. I really We're love it. We're so excited to have you. I know your mom maybe not sharing in that excitement. Yeah, it, it, you know what? She's come around, I think. <laughs> At first she was a little sad and wanted yeah. me to be a little bit closer to home, but after you know my family came and helped me settle in, I think they were like, a little bit reassured that we were going to be okay. What do you think, Brianna, will be the toughest part about relocating from Texas to Utah? I think just like starting new yeah. is like yeah. you know change is always hard and it's it's a big deal but um, the little things right where am I gonna grocery yeah. shop where am I yeah. yeah yeah it was it was all of that and and I was really really blessed to have my family again help me settle in and so good those questions were answered a little bit earlier um, and yeah it was great so that's want, the toughest part for me. I want to ask you a little bit more about your career I understand you started as a receptionist and worked your way up yeah. <laughs> yeah. Impressive. Thanks. Yeah. So again, I, I got hired my my senior year of college. So what happened was I like split my day. So half the day I worked um, in the reception desk. I would help the receptionist like if she wanted to go to lunch or if she had like appointments or family things going on. So I would do that. And then my other half of the day, I'd go work in the newsroom. So whatever they needed me to do, whether it was like produce or do the web or whatever, or, like go get coffee, whatever they wanted me to do, I would I would do. So it was really really fun, especially you know like young and excited like sure. college kid getting ready to graduate it was it was the best job I loved oh, it I appreciate that hustle and I shared a similar path here at KSL and same thing you'll do what you're told to do yeah. just to, just to be there just and to, to be, be there and learn part of the newsroom yeah. um, I you said El, uh, El Paso went through a lot of tragedy when you first started your career how did that shape your journalism lens you know it's really tough because I didn't I guess I didn't know what to expect. You know, when you become a reporter, you think like, I'm gonna go cover like a court case or, you know, like construction, whatever's going on in your community. And unfortunately, my community was just struck with a lot of tragedy when I started reporting. There was a mass shooting. Yeah, we had a mass shooting in 2019. So I had just graduated from college May 2019 and we had it in August. Mm. So it was a very, you know, tough, period to be in. When you hear about mass shootings, it's always hard to hear them, but when you hear about it and see it happening in your in your community that you have so much love and respect for, it was was really difficult. So we knew, or I knew, after that happened, we were gonna be covering it yeah. for months yeah. and and years, even to to, to today, where, you know, they're still covering it. Sure. Um, sure. So that was tough, and then COVID happened, so that was, a challenge in and of itself as well and and I'll, unfortunately El Paso was an epicenter for COVID as well so it was very very challenging especially as like a girl in her early 20s just trying to you know figure that out. Yeah to be yeah. in the throes of that on the front lines having to articulate that information yeah. about a community that means so much to you yeah. that would be really challenging. And again like at a time where people just wanted to know what was going on. Sure, they wanted the information. That, that was really tough to be like, yeah. I don't even know what's going on. But yeah. you know, you learn on the job and and it definitely gave me the skills that I have yeah. today. Sounds like yeah. you cut your teeth quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, on a lighter note, I know you're a family gal, oldest of three. I am the I oldest understand. of three. And you credit your dad for your sports enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah, so my dad's family is from Houston. So I'm a big, like, Houston sports fan. <laughs> so Houston Astros, Houston Texans, Houston awesome. Rockets, love it all. 
Um, but yeah, my parents were super encouraging. I played a whole bunch of sports as a kid. Good. And sports. so I did volleyball and basketball. I wasn't the best, but I loved it. Okay. And my mom very, very early put me in swimming. So I swam for many, many years. Um, and yeah, I, oh. I love it. I love sports. And That's I understand you're a foodie. Have you stumbled on any good local spots that you're already I, keen to? I, I'm trying to build a list. Kay. So I'm I'm in Sugar House, Sugar House area. So I'm trying to explore. The dodo? Haven't been there yet. Okay, put that on your list. Okay, Dodo. I went to a little place called Little Saigon. Okay, yes. Really cute. Yes. I love the food there. So good. And yeah, I'm, I need a list. We went to, my family and I went to Sapa Delicious. around here. Amazing. So good. And the atmosphere with the outdoor. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was beautiful. So I need to okay. build a list. We yeah. can help you with that, actually. Thank you. Studio 5 viewers are foodies. So okay, we should good. post this on send, social media. Send things my way, we'll please. We'll crowdsource you dinners for the next year of your life. Oh, great. Perfect. Brianna, it's great to meet you. Welcome to KSL. Thank Glad you so you're much. Here. And we look forward to seeing your report on KSL News. Awesome. Thanks so much.